वेलकम बैक माई फ्रेंड्स टू माई चैनल दिस इज द रिव्यू ऑफ कैन इमेज रनर टू थाउजेंड टू एन दिस इज़ अ ड्यूप्लेक्स यूनिट इट हैज़ अ ड्यूप्लेक्स यूनिट विच आई हैव इंस्टॉल्ड इट सो दैट इट कैन प्रिंट बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द मिश बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द पेपर ऑटोमेटिकली हाव एवर आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू द ड्यूप्लेक्स यूनिट वेर इट इज सो हियर इज अ बटन यू कैन यू नो इफ यू क्लिक इट यू कैन इट्स इट्स ओपन so as you can see the internal view sometime paper jams over here this is the drum of the machine this green thing is the drum of the machine which copies the image okay i suppose this is the drum and this is the duplex unit this one okay so it turns the paper automatically the paper goes via this like this and it uh, prints out over here so this is uh, the internal view okay as you can look at it so let me close this down i bought this machinery for 70000 including the duplex unit so let's uh, get on uh, let's start this machine okay so machine started by this so as you can look at it the machine is started so so let me tell you the basic function of this uh, machinery over here first thing is the uh, energy saver button if you don't uh, use this machine for a long time it automatically goes into a sleep mode that is energy saver mode i put in uh, the green uh, led has uh, started blinking okay okay second thing after every job you have to you know press in the reset button so that uh, the function gets back to the default part of it of completing every so scan every function you have to uh, push the start button to stop the function uh, you have to pull, uh, push the stop button and it will ask you over here do you want to cancel the job yes no something else so let's get on with the basic part of it so it has started okay so as you can see copy press start 01 0 one is a basic default function suppose you have to print a copy of a uh, of a document uh, have to make a xerox of a document for suppose three copies so i'll put a three and i press start uh, however there are a number of function over here there is density density as in uh, suppose this is the minimum density usually default is 50% density is the blackness you want on the paper the image clarity you want on the paper of a xerox so you get the point as in suppose this is a very light copy and this is a very dark copy okay of a product uh, of of a copy of a xerox so suppose this is minus 3 it is up to you how much you want usually the photo if you are scanning a photocopy or a id card you should you know decrease the density uh, secondly let's uh, go to this part of it the original text type uh, the uh, default is uh, text and photo text for single text photo for copying photo and text and photo is a default part of it just hold on once let me sit down over here yeah now it's perfect what is two sided of suppose i have to copy an image uh, which has two sides to it maybe it may be a book or something else so what i do you know uh, i i select this option two sided so what happens is when i scan the copies it scan both the sides and print uh, it prints on a single paper just let me show you and uh, example of it i do not get getting the two sided copy suppose this is the two sided copy this is the side a this is the side b okay so what i have to do i have to scan uh, the copies i wanted to print uh, i wanted to xerox and after that i i will you know uh, press okay so it will print on both the sides automatically because the duplex unit is inbuilt in it so this will help to do so okay so let's press reset once again so after this two sided copy ratio what is the copy ratio suppose uh, you go to a xerox guy you go to you have a, a machine installed in your office and uh, you want to decrease uh, the image size 
as in uh, document is very big and you uh, you want to decrease it to A4 size or lesser than A4 size. So what you do is you decrease uh, this uh, the image size. Okay. This I don't have an example over here. So let's I, I'll tell you how it how it is done. Okay. So what is custom ratio? First custom ratio is you want to decrease 98 percent, 97 percent. You have to decrease it. A, uh, minimum is 25 percent and maximum is 40 to increase. Enlarge the image. It is 400 percent and to decrease to saturate the image. It is 25 percent. However, let's go back. So there is 100 percent. One is to one ratio. 400 per to enlarge the image to 400 percent. 200 percent is A5 to A3. A3 is the biggest. A5 is the small, uh, smaller than A4 size. Okay. 141 A5 to A4. A5 uh, is a smaller uh, uh, size than A4, okay? And 122%, 115%, 86%, 81%, 70%, uh, and so on and so forth. 25 being the minimum, okay? After that, uh, there is a paper. Uh, there, is, there are two trays. This, uh, this is the first tray, uh, and this is the MP tray. I'll just hold on one sec. So this is the MP tray over here, okay? As you can see uh, above here, just hold on one sec. Yeah, this is MP tray, the side one, and the first uh, is the A4 plane tray. So we have to select what kind of uh, uh, tray we want to uh, take the paper from. Uh, secondly, N N on one off. I don't know what this function is. Different size origin, uh, the same thing. Collate. Uh, suppose you want to uh, print a book or a set of uh, ten papers which have. Uh, uh, printed items on both the sides such as an agreement okay or a, a document of some, some sort so what you do is uh, you want three copies of it so what you just go to three so here is three you start the collate and after that you press start so what this machine will do this machine will scan all the documents uh, and if you want to print it back to back just let me show you what collate does so what happens is uh, you want to print a document set of documents okay so you this option helps you scan all the documents after that what do you do you keep on scanning until the last document over here and then you press ok so it will print copies on single paper one copy will be placed on single paper suppose there is a document which you want back to back that is uh, both the sides should be printed so you will go to this option and uh, start this two sided option so the print will come on both the sides of the paper okay so let's go back let's reset it okay pull it uh, this is the same function uh, which uh, this is a literally minimum function of code function so we need not to uh, when I talk about it, erase frame is uh, suppose you want to uh, decrease a frame from the size of a book or of a document. So that is what is done over here. 10 mm is a minimum, I suppose. 9. So 1 to 1 to 15 mm can be uh, cut down from a Xerox. Okay. Moving on. Uh, favorite setting is for the people who work on this machine, the actual engineers. Uh, so that is the thing. Secondly, hold on one sec. This function, uh, this function is uh, for printing two side uh, uh, of a document automatically the uh, paper uh, goes in and it is printed on both the sides so this uh, button is for that one okay uh, this is for uh, id card suppose uh, you have to uh, you have a pan card or a credit card or a passport you want to print so this is the function directly used for id card copy okay so you have to do is select uh, here is the id card copy so it will print automatically adjust uh, the copy itself the machine will do it so let's reset once again uh, the paper selection setting is for the tray i suppose yeah this is the tray mp tray which is the side one a4 tray which is the this, this, this tray okay okay let's reset once again status monitor what the status monitor does as i device status paper information okay let's press back remaining toner let's press that uh, remaining toner is okay when the toner will uh, will uh, you know uh, finish uh, this will uh, there, there will be a warning message on this screen over here okay after that uh, let me show you uh, login logout id is 
uh, where uh, you can suppose you are uh, you, uh, there of uh, you are in an office and everybody is given an id uh, suppose a floor id suppose of a department so you have to press in the login and you have to suppose you press login over here uh, login you set the uh, set your password after that uh, you log in on after logout also same way i suppose i never used it okay this is the reset button i already said it uh, uh, what is the counter check let's check it out just hold on one sec counter check uh, is uh, i don't know what this function is actually device configuration so this is my serial number of my device okay over here duplex unit 1 101 total 1 I suppose uh, it tells us the, how many copies uh, are made out of this machine and all that. Uh, later on, th this is start button to uh, start the uh, scanning and printing. Uh, this is the stop button. This uh, setting registration is uh, for the engineers and all. This is the energy saver button which helps you to uh, 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 put this machine in a sleeper mode. However, you can also put uh, this machinery manually into sleeper mode using this uh, energy saver button. Uh, and the green LEDs uh, started uh, starts to you know glow. So this, uh, so guys, this is the review of uh, Canon uh, image runner. Let me show you the symbol over here. This is the Canon, okay. And this is image runner runner 2002N.